Alright, so we're going to be taking a look at the new mech Deathwalker, which uh, I don't think they have any business calling a mech with no legs at Deathwalker, so I have labeled it Death Turd. Now this is a 32 energy tank with the same HP and speed as Blockhorn. The ability is very interesting indeed. Once activated, a point appears on the ground and the mech speed increases. If it's killed while the ability is active, it teleports back to that point with 100% of the HP that it had at the time of activation, plus some percent of its total HP, it's 10%. It is also invulnerable while teleporting. So what does this mean? This means if, let's say, you have half HP, and you use your ability and you go out, and then you end up dying while your ability is active, not only do you teleport back and you still have half HP, you actually gain HP. Like this, this mech literally gains HP by dying, which is freaking wild. I mean, resurrecting just in general will gain you HP. But, you know, it, it basically just means you could just keep, keep feeding full HP mechs without actually ever losing a mech, which is very crazy. The craziest part about it, in my opinion, is that on top of that, it has 32 energy. So it's not even going to be weak. Like this thing's going to pack a serious punch. Like in, to some degree, you would think, okay, well, the best solution would be to basically just ignore it until its abilities act, uh, un until its abilities duration is over and then kill it. A 32 energy mech is going to be really difficult to ignore. It's going to be pretty much impossible. You can't really afford to do that. The HP, like I said, it's the same as Blockhorn, which is like not that impressive, to be honest. Uh, and it doesn't have a shield of any kind. If the mods are broken, then they stay broken. The mods do not regenerate, uh, except for Hardened Hole, of course, which is just Hardened Hole is just an extension of HP. The ability cooldown is actually the second longest in the game. And I say the second longest because God forbid that Arachnus not be the worst at literally everything. But uh, with the 15 second ability duration, it has the longest ability cycle time. If, if you get the full duration, which like the duration is dependent on how long you survive for. But yeah, so this is the longest ability cycle time. So it's not, it's not short and I'm glad about that, right? The first thing that I said when I was talking about this like reviving mech concept, I said, you know, the first thing I said was like, okay, whether or not it's balanced is pretty much entirely dependent on what its cooldown is. And its cooldown's pretty long, so I can get behind that. Invulnerable duration, three seconds. This doesn't really matter. It ha I mean, three seconds is a pretty long time. It's basically like Seeker Teleport, but like way longer. It has like a much longer delay. You can't fire while this is happening. Like you can't do anything while this duration's going on. So it's basically just a teleport delay. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, speed boost, 60%. This is basically the same as any scout mech. It's 30 kph, if it's 19 plus 60%. So it makes it basically the same speed as, uh, like, Surge, Nomad Redeemer, whatever. Uh, for context, Vortex has double speed, uh, but I believe its base speed is 18. So it ends up being 36 while it uses its ability. So it's slightly slower than Vortex. And then the HP restoration, of course, is 10%. Now you can use an implant to increase this HP restoration, which is probably not a bad implant to use. But the most important one, I would say, is definitely like, cool down because like that's so long. And uh, duration actually might be a good one too, because the optimal way to counter this mech is going to be with uh, Hemlock or Surge EMP or anything that's just going to be able to stall the ability out, right? So you just want to stall the ability out. So ability duration implant could actually be really huge on this because it's going to force people to have to shoot at you when they don't really want to. Um, and the worst situation for you as a death turd user would be to run into someone uh, well, use your ability, run in, 
you know, run into some area. <laughs> and then your ability just runs out. And they're just sitting there. You're just existing there, and, and they're just gonna kill you, and you're just gonna be gone. It's gonna be really awkward for you. Needless to say, this is a tier 9 mech. The typical pattern is that, like, if there's a mech that sounds like it's absolutely the most OP thing to ever exist, it's probably in tier 9, uh, even if it's not that great. I consider Vortex to be much better than Blockhorn, but Blockhorn sounds really OP, right? Like, the stats make it sound really OP, and it's the same thing for Deathwalker, of course. There's also this new heavy-duty weapon, Dreadshot. The 12 energy one is the one that I am able to review at the moment, but I'm not going to do that in this video, I'm going to do that some other time. For now, we are going to strictly be looking at this mech and kind of discussing the pros, the cons, and kind of my overall thoughts on it, as well as looking at a very interesting exploit related to this mech. Alright, so the first thing I want to say is like, okay, obviously competitively, you're going to want this mech to be with burst weapons, Stormrack specifically. And you might think, well, why would you do that? Wouldn't you want it with a sustained fire weapon because you have basically infinite mech uptime, right? Which means that you would have a lot more use for weapons with high uptime. And though this is true, it's not particularly difficult to kill each instance of this mech. And by each instance of this mech, I mean every time I use my ability and run in. My HP is not huge. It would be pretty easy to kill me. And send me back. In this case, I actually don't really want to get very ooh, get very greedy with this this should be easy i'm just gonna run because i don't like unlike unlike vortex i don't get resistance i don't get a shield or anything like that all right yeah so i'm sent back i get a bit of hp back that's nice so it's not like i have extra protection while my ability is active Which essentially means that you're going to do little to no damage. Wait, what happened? My... My duration was... Wait a second. So, like, weapons with high uptime, it would make sense to use them on this mech to some degree. But, like, against actual players, it wouldn't... It wouldn't really work. And the reason it wouldn't really work is because... You don't really have a lot of protection. You just have an infinite number of lives, right? Which just sends you back to wherever you were. So let's say you're trying to rush some player. They could just constantly, over and over and over again, just spam storm rags and kill you as soon as you show your face. And then you're just gone, and then you get sent back, and then you have to wait some time. And then they kill you again. Or, and then you, you know, you, and then you rush them again. And then they storm rank you again, and then, <laughs> and then you just get back. And then you have to wait, and then you rush them again. And, like, yes, you can rush them an infinite number of times, but, like, you're not accomplishing anything during that time. And that's what really... That, that's the difference between what makes it an OP mech and what makes it just a good mech, I think it's very possible that even though even though it sounds stupidly broken right most people could probably agree with, with that so yeah but of course obviously competitively it's going to work best with competitive weapons or you know super meta weapons <laughs> like uh storm rack or possibly even revoker who knows in terms of the counters for this well, the first counter would just be time. I mean, it's you kind of deal with it the same way that you would deal with Vortex to a large extent, which is that you kind of just want to wait until its ability is gone. As a Death Turd user, I have to make sure... Like, I had to make sure that I backed back up, right? As soon as I realized that I wasn't going to die during my ability, 
I didn't want to be down there in the open with uh, with with no ability active because I would be kind of an easy shot. I'd have to make sure that I like back up all, every time. There we go. Probably okay with that. And now just do that. And you know. Freaking 32 energy is just wild. Like this thing's got stupid firepower as well as a kind of ridiculous ability. So I think to some degree it would take some teamwork. Wow, that's a lot of pods. So to some degree it would take a bit of teamwork just to kill this. But that's kind of the same with like Vortex. Like I said, very similar to Vortex in terms of counters. In terms of mechs specifically that would counter it, Hemlock, easily. Hemlock, you could just keep it stunned and make sure that it's not able to do anything. Like, this guy is going to kill me. Wait, no, never mind, he's not. Because he's a nerd. I'm just going to go down this way. But then also Guardian. And there, okay, there is a new mech that was teased along with this one. And the ability honestly sounds like it's going to be a legendary Guardian. So, you know, if, if it ends up being a counter, to, direct counter to this mech, then that would be kind of wild, just immediately making this mech rather inconsequential. But if it's not, then, uh, you know, at least Guardian is still there. Guardian is a mech that lost a lot of relevance when Revokers became meta, because Guardian can't do anything against Revokers, right? But at the same time, if this thing becomes meta, then Guardian's going to be a lot more valuable. So that would be interesting. Now, of course, we already talked about, you know, the ideal meta competitive weapons, but like if you're playing non-competitively, I think this mech is going to be kind of like a bit like Orion, where it's usable with pretty much anything just because of the way that the ability works. You kind of have an infinite number of lives to just <laughs> go back in and, and try to make it work, you know? It won't necessarily do great, but, you know, it, it can actually do something. Which is very interesting. And heavy energy capacity is also nice. I probably should have just let him kill me, to be honest. Because now I'm going to be in a much worse position. But that's okay. Yeah, alright. So, worth noting, when I teleport, as soon as I start to teleport back, it removes EMP, it removes Hunter's Mark, it removes everything. No status effect will get brought, brought back with me. In case anyone thought that maybe that was a thing, it is not. Please, 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 please. Oh, I'm dead, never mind. So yeah, like, as you saw, <laughs> the biggest weakness is when it doesn't, when, you know, like, right after it uses its ability, it teleports back. And then it just doesn't really have the HP to survive something. So, if you're using this mech, you'd probably want to be, like, I don't know, maybe back here. And then just kind of hang back. It might be a sort of decent sniper mech of some kind, I wonder. Or it could be. I'm not sure. Ow. Because, yeah, the worst part is when you take a lot of damage, but you don't die. Which, 
will bring us to the uh, the mods conversation. So the ideal mod, obviously, is going to be the HP one, the hardened hole. That's the absolute biggest one that you need to get, and you need to make sure that you upgrade. And you definitely want a legendary rather than ep an epic. And the reason is because when you teleport, when you uh, you know when you die and teleport back, you gain HP. So the more HP you have, the more you're able to gain. And you also teleport back with more HP. So you know the more you're able to just constantly feed into the ability, the better for you. The second best one, I would say, is actually not a shield one, but galvanic hole. And the reason I say galvanic hole is because. <laughs> I mean, you're using, you're, you're basically using like three, four lives, like you're dying so many times, eventually you will make full use out of that galvanic hole, which is pretty decent. Oh, this guy's probably gonna kill me, but that's all right. The shields, even though they're good, the shields are by far the best mods, just in general. But on this mech specifically, the thing is that they only work for the first life. And the first life is, quite honestly, not a big deal. So even though they're the strongest ones by far, what they can also do is they can keep you from dying when you need to. Like, and I say that as like a, like, it genuinely is important to make sure that you die. When you go in to try to die, you don't want your ability to just time out and then you end up finding yourself in this really awkward situation where you're alive, but <laughs> your ability's in cooldown and you're in front of a bunch of people and you don't know what the heck you're doing. Oh, I almost died there. All right, so I'm gonna just kind of use my buddy here. Yeah. I would definitely prefer if I die to this guy. It just makes it easier for me. Because now instead of having like a fraction of HP, I teleport back here in safety with full HP. So that's the difference between dying and not dying. So to honestly, to some degree, it would probably be actually safer and better for me if I removed my shield mod. So I might end up doing that. Just do this. I don't have the duration. Nope. Need to back up. So you definitely need to know when, like when, when you back, when to back up. Cause I was almost in a really bad spot right there. But now I'm I'm kind of fine. And there we go. And you can see I'm taking a little bit of galvanic hole damage, but eventually the entire thing will be used, and it basically just counts as more HP. So, pretty good choice. Railgun's not that bad either, because, like, yeah, it takes you a couple seconds. Well, that was interesting. The pods ended up coming with me as I was teleporting back. I, I assume if you stick it on to me while the delay is happening. So, I'll just do this. Yeah, I mean, like, the, the delay, like, teleport delay gives my railgun some time to... I would really prefer, thank you, I was gonna say, I would really prefer me to die rather than to be stuck there with, like, 5% HP. Yeah, okay, let me just... This. That's fine, pal. Alright, but that's fine. I'll get you. 
I'll get you still. Oh no, I won't. Okay, that was bad. In terms of mech specific implants, this mech has cooldown, duration, and HP restoration. So the HP restoration gives you an additional 10%. It's your your base is 10%, so then uh, if with this implant it becomes 20% every time you die, you teleport back with 20% more HP than what you had. Which is pretty good. The cooldown is basically the same as other cooldowns. The duration, there is no legendary duration, but there is an epic one. Which is kind of weird, a rare as well. But unfortunately there's no epic HP restoration, which would have been pretty nice. But yeah, those are just a few builds that uh, I wanted to show. I'm definitely going to be showing a lot more, uh, but I will most likely end up streaming pretty soon after it's released in game. So I'll just be running a bunch of stuff on it then. Last thing I want to talk about is this very interesting bug where uh, you can push people up onto places by essentially having a death walker teleport underneath someone if they stand right on top of your beacon thing then when you teleport back it will push them up you can actually use that to get up places that you couldn't previously get up to uh it, i wasn't able to find it anywhere crazy to be honest uh the only thing that i was able to get to is like the walls on the mech arena map or like the just little top areas on Paradise Plaza. It's not super useful, but yeah, it's definitely very interesting. Otherwise, that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this video in regards to the new Mac. Let me know what you guys think about it. I think it's very interesting. I'm not fully convinced that it will be meta, but I think it will be pretty close to it. If it's not, it will at least be like A tier. But otherwise, yeah, that will be it for me. Appreciate y'all. Take care.